All right, y'all, y'all for next. Look, this is a live stream, guys, right here. Unusual right here. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up because I don't know if the Wi-Fi will uh, keep me going out here. And like I said, let me. I'm just testing a few things out while I'm doing this, okay? I can't flip it over. All right, guys. This is a live stream right here, guys. I'm, what I'm doing today is I'm showing you guys what I'm doing actually on my lawn, DYD lawn. Guys, some of the comments... I may not be able to get to. It's going to be windy. It's going to sound muffled. But th this is what happens when you go live. And let me show you what's going on. I got BYD Jr. with me. I got my cousin with me. We've been doing some things. I got all the equipment out here. And this may be a lengthy live stream, guys. Some of this stuff is going to, uh, when, I, when I go back later on and do the updates. I'll put chapters in. You can go here and there and figure it out what you want to watch. But all of this is going to be live. It's going to be lengthy. This is not going to be a five minute video. So get your popcorn ready. And I'm just going to go ahead and start now. One of the first things we're going, I'm going to do, and I'm going to walk through this real quick. We're going to do some edging. All right. We did some bagging. We're going to do some weed eating. I got all the lawnmowers out here. Um, the big boy. I got my power equipment. I got my electric equipment right there. Um, let me see what else I got. Chris, look in the back of that truck and see if that electric. It might be in the, in the garage. See if the electric head's trimming back there. Guys, check this out. We've been putting down pine straw. I got all these chemicals up here. I'm going through. Say that again. I'm going through all this today right here. And we didn't put the pine straw down. Live on YouTube, guys. And you can see, hopefully, my, my Wi-Fi keep keep up with it. And let me know if the Wi-Fi. Let me, let me know if the Wi-Fi is working, guys. Because I, I can't tell because I'm doing this on my phone. And you see why I burned it off right here, guys. And I kind of bagged it up. A little bit. That's the gas more that I have from three seasons that we got going on right now. Yeah, that fire though. <laughs> so guys, it is a it let me know. Is the live stream is it working? Is it fuzzy? Comment. I need to know before I continue because I don't want to waste two hours of light and nobody can understand me. Can you hear me on the live stream? Can you hear me on the live stream? Come in. Okay, you good? What's up, Chips? Looks good. Buzzing in and out. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, hopefully, ride your Wi-Fi. And you can see I got my Wi-Fi extender right here. So I'm getting bars. I'm getting bars. You can hear me? Yes. All right. Guys, also hit that like button. I need you to tear it up. All these people, I need to see the like button go up so we can get this live stream pushed out a little bit further. All right, now one of the things people were asking me off the rip, and this is going to be fun ready. I'm telling you, this, I'm going to just get straight to it. People were asking me in this video, so I can talk about whatever I want to. But people were asking me, do you plan on putting on your yard? All right, you see, I got the flagship, the double dark, the stress blend. We got the starter fertilizer. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. Yard Mastery is sponsoring BYD's lawn this year. Now, Yard Mastery, you see who's also in the collabo with them, Sunnyland. So you guys who's asking, where can I get that Sunnyland? I'll be posting links in the description. Get on. Don't order it yet, guys, because I need you to help me out and order through my links. But that's what I'm rolling with. Now, some of you guys still got the, the Sunnyland Professional 2006 weed and feed and the 2011-11 fertilizer that stuff is still good that's yeah, still good so if you got that that's fine i'm also be putting down some sunny land all natural but guys if you can't get if you can't get that look <clears throat> scott's has an all natural lawn food that may be good and this stuff right here guys that's pretty good too all right i'm not gonna go in detail with it but the first thing i'm gonna do with this lawn is I'm going to go ahead and edge it up, um, do some weed eating, and we're going to do some mowing. Now, after we do that, guys, what I want to do is go ahead, 
since I've been seeing a lot of crane flies and people get mosquitoes mixed up with crane flies, we're going to go ahead and put down our insect control. All right, we got our insect control right here. We're going to put that down. And I'm going to do the granular. I got some liquid stuff also. You see that right there. And we got the weed kill. Guys, we got 10, 10, 10. And here's the deal on 10, 10, 10. People ask me all the time. I'm trying to rush a lot in. Hey, can, yeah, you can pre-scalp if you want to. Guys ask me, should I put the 10, 10, 10 down? I bought it. 10, 10, 10 is a tree and shrub fertilizer. There's nowhere on the bag where it mentions it's for lawns. Now, you guys can still do that if you want, but I'm not a, a 10, 10, 10 guy for putting it on my lawn to get me jump started. Is it too early to fertilize? The answer could be just where you live at, guys. It may be too early to fertilize. I don't know, but you got to look at your getting the sun. You got to look at your your lay of your land. If you're about forty to sixty percent green, different story. You can see back there. I'm still dormant in a lot, but I am getting the green up. So that's just going to depend on you. If you have a green lawn, somebody text not text me, hit me on Instagram and said that it was like 90, Albuquerque, New Mexico, not New Mexico, somewhere in Texas said they was 90% green. Yeah, I would be be putting it down now. So what about weed and feed? If your lawn is infested with weed, weeds and you got green up in the lawn, now would be the time to put down a weed and feed. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to have a lot of links in the descriptions for all of my videos, guys, all of my videos. So Let's get this thing started. Jarvis, I need you to get the uh, stick edger right here. Get that stick edger. I'm going to get Jarvis in. If you don't know, Jarvis been in a couple of my videos right now. It's going to get that stick edge, and we're just going to stick edge this area right here. All right, guys, let me know if you still can hear me. Holler at me. Is the, is the, is the live feed good? All right. So, like I said, Guys, enjoy the watch. It's going to be lengthy, but this is some of the stuff that I do to get my lawn prep for the uh, upcoming spring. All right, thanks. I know it sounds good. Thanks. The Higgins family, thanks. Go ahead. So he's going to go ahead and get that stick head started. I'm going to show you this back here. Well, you see I'm getting a lot of green up because I got a lot of sun hitting this side of my house right here. Yeah, a lot of green up right here. Okay, right here. Remember this, guys. This is a live stream. Live stream. It's not playing. It's just spur of the moment, but I wanted to show you what I was going to do with my yard today. All right. Me more, if you're watching this, you need to hit me up real soon, guy. All right. Christopher, get that uh, electric blower, the, um, that one over there. Get a battery for it and put it in. And, uh, I'm gonna show you this real quick, guys. I'm a, he's gonna use the electric blower, and I got my other blower, my BR800. All right, I got my BR600. I don't know if you can see that. I got all my spreaders out here. I got my X Mark. I got my uh, Ego Select Cut 56 volt. I got my dual battery uh, Greenworks. And I got everybody's favorite lawnmower. Everybody's favorite lawnmower. <laughs> I don't like it, but everybody's favorite lawnmower. All right, yeah, he got that line looking good. All right, while he's doing that, I'm going to set this up on a tripod. Hold on. I got it on a tripod. I'm working it by hand. I'm going to set it up on this thing, and I want you to see me weedy. BYD. Yeah, blow that. Remember, guys, this is live, so it's going to look amateur, and it's going to be a lengthy video. Hopefully, my battery won't die on me. I'm trying to get my little ladder. Like I said, this is spur of the moment, guys. 
I want to show you one of the other spreaders. I not spreaders, pump spreaders. I got a Hasvana. All right, guys in the stream, hit the like button, please. One of the things I'm gonna do this year, guys, I'm riding with the T necks for the entire yard. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's a growth uh, regulator right there. And the other one, that's a uh, that's a surfactant. I don't have a label on it because I pulled it off. And I got a five gallon bucket. Guys, that's going to be when I get ready to mix this right here, the tree and shrub protect. This is the liquid. And I also got the granular down. All right. But let me get my ladder. I want to show you this. <clears throat> the weeding. You see, I got I got a lot going on, guys. BYD Jr. got the electric. He's blowing. And you can see, guys, I got an electric weed eater right there. That's made by Greenworks. All right, hold on, guys. All right, I want to set this up right here. And hopefully we can keep this going. Guys, bear with me. I'm glad you guys tuned in. I'm trying to give you guys some different stuff. BYD, get that whole garage. I got it. Hey, it makes so bad. I don't have to just the taste of it, man. This just a taste of it. My garage looks like a warehouse. You should see. I can't show you. It, 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 it ain't cleaned out yet. Mama might get mad. Hit that like. That's 56 people watching, 25 likes. Come on, hit that like button. I'm going to get this weed eater over here, and I'm going to show you something. All right, guys. BYD has the weed eater. This is the gas one. All right, made by steel, check it out. And what I do, what I want y'all to see is, after they've lined up, I like to go ahead and weed eat, get the, hopefully you can see me, get that, get smooth that out. I call it a lawn fade. Fade that out. Then we'll do some bagging and stuff like that. Check it out. Okay, guys, hopefully you saw that. How did I do? How did I do? <laughs> All right, he's through stick edging. And Christopher, come come over here real quick. I just want you guys to see that electric blower. Now, some of these questions I won't be able to answer because I'm doing it live right now, but I will later on. So, guys, how did I do on that weaving? Hit me in the comments. Chris. Woo! All right, guys, now what we're going to do next, this part is going to be fun. Chris, we get the batteries for all of the mowers. We got an Ego 7.5 volt, and we're running two uh, five amp batteries in the um, green work. All right. I'm going to the other side over here. Now, this part is going to be fun. Hold on. Hey, bring that ladder over here. You guys see this over here? Oh, yeah, I was on the mission. <laughs> You guys see this area over here now? Uh oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna set this up over here and I'm gonna tell you what's going on. We're gonna use three lawnmowers and I'm gonna try to bag and cut this at the same time. This is three inch. All right. If you look closely, you can see I'm still getting some green up. 
All right. But I want to cut it down. I want to cut it down. That pine straw, I haven't finished that up, but we got most of it thrown in there. All right. Let me set this up real quick, guys. Bear with me. Don't, don't, don't run. Come on, guys. Get your popcorn. Get your drinks. It's just like Justice League. Four hours. This is the BYD cut right here. BYD cut. All right. I got that set up. Hopefully, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Yeah, 15 minutes, still alive. All right. I'm going to get a lawnmower. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Bring the lawnmowers over here. Bring the lawnmowers over here. Appreciate that, Tony. Give me a all right, bring them on. Push it on over here, Jarvis. Don't wait. Just push it over here. Here we come, guys. I know everybody get OCD. Hang in there, guys. Smash that like button. If you don't like this video, hit the thumbs down button. Then hit the like. <laughs> Battery enough? Yeah. No, I need both of them, Christopher. All right, I'm gonna push this more out here. I right, got that more pushed out there. All right, now Jarvis, push that one over here. We got the green works. All right, um, one of the things I was telling you guys, when you're trying to take three inches off at one time, is dang near impossible, man. What's up? So well, I got this set on four. This works. I mean, this uh, ego more. I had to sit at its lowest cut, cutting height. All right, and go around and get the snapper more real quick. Hurry up. And I got a gas more. That it, what's going on, Chris? That's it. it. It clicked in. I got the uh. Let's see. Let's test the battery. He said it was. Yeah, they all showing. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that shows the battery level for both of them. All right. Now, my cousin is going to get the gas more. And, guys, I know it's going a little slow. Like I said, spur of the moment, man. Spur of, spur of the moment. Now, guys, if you remember, this is the first lawnmower I got BYD Jr. We still have it. This is the gas-powered snapper. And I know somebody's going to say, that's not a snapper. That's a Hasvana. That's a... MTD, that's whatever it is. It has snapper on it and it has a Honda engine on it. What we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna first with that green works. BYD Jr. come behind me, whip that more, and then Jarvis will come behind me with that more. The ideal is to bag up as much of this grass as possible. All right, I'm not gonna do the entire yard, but I want you to just see how it's going to look. Now, I don't know how far this Wi-Fi will kick out, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to set this up right here. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. Yeah, triple cut. <laughs> this, hey, now, to be honest with you, it's just for the video. I wouldn't tell nobody to get three long ones out there and try to cut that grass. That's crazy. But this is going to be triple cut. Hold on. Chris, put you on the mask because it's going to get dusty. I think I got a truck. Yeah, hurry up, Chris. Walk fast because we record. All right, guys. Hold, hold on to your seats because it's going to get weird. <laughs> and like I said, I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to cut. I think it's two inches. Junior's going to cut a little bit over one inch. My cousin will come back with the snapper and cut it just to taste it lower. It's not lower. He's getting up that debris that's left. The ideal is to get up as much of this stuff as you can. So when you do put down your fertilizer, insect control, whatever you plan on putting down, it'll get to the ground fast. Now, should you dethatch de your lawn right now? Guys, I'm not a component of dethatching Bermuda grass, especially if you don't have to. If it's in half an inch or less, 
You do not have to dethatch your lawn. People do it because you've been told to by the internet. All right. To do it, I'm not going to say there's no one absolute right way. But guys, you can't just do things because you've been told to do them. All right. It's one of the reasons why I make these videos, and it's one reason this five hour live stream. <laughs> it's not going to be five hours. Maybe. If a battery don't die, but guys, get your popcorn ready. So let me flip it back around, and we're about to get started. Hold on. All right, guys, I got to plug up. No, I can't be a stud and take three inches off with that real more. You trying to see BYD have a heart attack live? Hey, if I do pass out, y'all hit the, cut this thing off because I don't want to see me die on TV. All right, here we go. I just plugged it up. I often wonder why folks made it. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, it's just like um, back in the day, you used to go to work and you didn't have a uh, cell phone. So you only saw your parents when they got home. Am I right? Somebody hit the like button. I ain't got the shoes for that. Uh, so I'm reading the comments. All right, guys, here we go. Just, just kind of pay attention to what I'm doing, guys. Like I said, I'm cutting it a little bit off. Junior will come behind me, and we're bagging this stuff up, too. So we, we all got to dump, but check it out. We got mask on, too, guys, because it's going to get dusty. Right now. Pick that bag and make sure. Pick that bag and make sure it's filling up. This is like watching Lauren. <laughs> what? Lauren get cut? <laughs> Man, I need y'all to come over to my house. I know, right? The ego bag leaking. Yes, it does leak. Now, that's I'm going to do another separate video on that, but I noticed any of these lawnmowers, when you do high capacity, dry lawn cutting, you get debris just blown everywhere. Look at it. And, and the ego was worse, man. I'm not going to dog this lawnmower out now, but yeah. And, and then look at the um, snapper. You don't see that much grass. Now, I'm going to let them um, go ahead and dump that. Dump those baggers over there in that corner over there where I showed y'all. What I want to show y'all is this. 
you see it's lower. Now I still may come back and cut it. And I'm not going to do scalp to the white meat because I'm just not that type of guy. But you can see the difference in the cutting height. Now they only way to dump those over there, but you can see the difference in the cutting height. And let me see if I can get closer. You see I got some green up going on in there? You guys see that? Guys, hit that like button. 85 people watching, hit that like button. 25 minutes into the live stream. Now I'm going to walk over here. And hopefully... I'll still stay on Wi-Fi. Guys, let me know if it starts cutting out. Say, hey, BYD is chopping up. It's chopping up. So I got a little area over here that we're going to dump it in. That dumping it. And you can see I got that pine straw right there. I'm going to neaten it up later on. And I actually got some pine straw dye that I want to put down over that dye. I mean, over that um, pine straw. You see that? <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm serious. I'm not the type of guy. I don't. I don't do all that. Uh, what slap? Slap the like button, y'all. Yeah. So let me get back over here. Don't run over my um. Well, what you call? But guys, you can see right here. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this real quick. I'm gonna use the snapper more right here. We'll get back over there in just a second. Cut a few stripes of this out right here. Now, this is why I burned the lawn off right here. I burned the lawn off. <laughs> Believe it or not, me and Ron Henry, we have spoken. And collabo probably will be coming soon. Um, but right now, the grass wasn't growing. So it's hard to kind of schedule it. But you, you're gonna you're gonna see a collabo coming soon between me and Ron Henry. I promise you. I promise you. Hopefully the lawn care now to come back this way. He did visit me last year. He hope you're listening, Alan. He owes me a collabo. I'm waiting on it. Chips and guac. Collabo coming. Sunny Bermuda. Collabo coming. No, I got, I don't need to ride a lawnmower. I got a lawnmower with a wheel on it. So I'm going to let him stop after this and I'm going <laughs> to explain a few things. You see all that, does. All right. All right, guys. Now you got two options right there. When you burn it off, you don't necessarily have to come back and bag it up. All right. I'm doing it so I can neaten up the yard and I can get rid of some extra debris right there. So you can see in spots like right there, I didn't get that. So either I can come back here, try to weed eat that little spot out of there because the lawn is not perfectly level. You see that? So we burned this off on the live stream. Hold before you dump that. Let me show them. Let me show them. Check this out, guys. All right. Are we back? Are we back? Talk to me. Are we back? Say, yep. We back. Live stream back. Come on, guys. Come in. One reason I, I hate doing live streams. Okay. All right, thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, now let me let me tell you what's next. Hey, Dink, take that lawnmower and go back over that spot that we just cut. Smooth it out. All right, I'm gonna let Jarvis go back over that spot. And guys, what I'm finna do next? Come on. Hold on. Stay with me, guys. I'm just what he's doing now is he's backtracking on that spot right there and making sure we got all that little extra debris up because you know one of the things that's most important. Let me let me get in front of the camera, guys. One of the things that's most important is that you guys 
you got to sharpen those blades or even get some new ones. Now, if you're cutting with a more and you've had it for 19 years and you never sharpen the blade to replace it, it's time to replace that blade. Uh, a blade that's two, three years old that hasn't been sharp, I wouldn't even sharpen it. I'd just get me a brand new blade because at that point, it's rusted out. Possibly out of balance from cutting acorns and those, them sweet gumballs and rocks and sticks and all that good stuff right there. So it's a process. This is a process. First day of spring, guys. That's why I'm out here. I'm trying to read these comments. I'll also be right there. I just go put down humic acid, okay? I'm hitting the like button, y'all. Hit that like button, y'all. Green Bay Packers, BYD. What? No, sir. No, sir. ATL, I ride or die with the team. All right? And somebody asked me about that. That's not Ice Cube. That's me, man. <laughs> That's me. But let's get back to this video real quick. Let's get back to this video real quick. All right, guys. Now, next, he's already stick edged. He's already stick edge. We're going to do some weed eating around the house. I don't know how, how good this Wi Fi is going to travel around the house, so uh, it's kind of hard to see. But one of the things you need to do next is this, guys. Somebody get me a um, one of the little hand turn spreader. It should be over there. And um, we're about to put down some stuff right over here. I want to show you this, guys, real quick. All right. This is what's next. I put down that pine straw, right? Let me take this. I put down that pine straw, all right? Some of the guys are asking me, you see it? Yeah, okay. We were talking about how you do. Christopher, open it up. It's a little thing that has some of this fur right here. Bring it out here. This side right here. Guys, this video is not sponsored once again. And what I'm about to put down is this 10, 10, 10. Now, one of the things I need for you to do is go ahead and do this ahead of time. We're going to put 10, 10, 10 in here. We're going to put it over here. Yeah, that's it. We're going to put it over here also. All right, 77 in the, in the, in the stream, 88 likes. Guys, I need more likes. Hit that like button if you just join. I'm going to go ahead and put Sunnyland over here. It's a 10 10 10 formula, and that's not the regular 10 10 10. This stuff got a lot of minors and all kinds of stuff in it. But the reason I want you to go ahead and put it down, because you put it down spring, uh, beginning of the summer, and maybe beginning of the fall, middle of fall. Thanks for that super chat. I, I'm going to make the noise. Super chat. <laughs> Hopefully that was good. Super chat. Was that good? Is that good? Anybody? But we're going to go ahead and put that fertilizer down. And this is for the tree, excuse me, yeah, trees and shrubs. I'm fertilized. That, 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 that right there. All right, now check it out. This is the Sunnyland 101010. Guys, I did a video for this. You can check all that stuff when it's said and done. All right. I'm pointing in here. And they tell you how to measure it out. I'm not going to necessarily do all that right now. Uh, Jairus, I need you to come do this part. Now, yeah, this thing, is, it's been worked, guys. That's why it's so dusty like that. I'm going to put this on three. Or you can put it on four, whatever one you want to. So let's just leave it on four. Take that right there. Now, show them this real quick right here. Pull that right there. It's maxed out. Now push it in. Come on, Push it in. All right, now pull it back out. Guys, you want to pull it out and then go ahead and put it in your left arm because you want to take all that pressure off your wrist so you don't get carpal tunnel syndrome. The one thing I don't like about this is it's, it's only made for one hand. This is not flip-flop. This don't go over here, then over here. So you can really only use it, hold it with the hand is that, the left hand, and turn it with your right hand. All right, so super chat. I just had to say that again. Go ahead, turn it, and you just want to sprinkle it over on top of it all around. Go ahead, do that. Yes, sir. Squeeze the trigger. You aim it towards the bushes, though. And you see what he's doing, guys. All we're doing is feeding this stuff early spring. There ain't no style to it. 
Just get it in there. Now, stop for a second. Hold it over the top and then get it so it's going in the center so we can get that stuff all down in the middle, too. He's falling. I got that on camera. I got that on camera. <laughs> all right. You got that? All right. Now, come over here and do this side over here. And that's the crepe myrtle, which we trim back. Yeah, go ahead. Do that. Okay, guys, and that's pretty much it, how you feed that right there. Now, let me show you another thing we got right here. It's through feeding that. Now, it's another way that you can feed that and protect it also from insects. Now, none of this is sponsored, guys, so don't, you know, don't nut up. I'm doing it for free, guys. This is the granular bio-advanced tree and shrub protect. Now, it's supposed to be like a two-way formula. Uh, slow release feeding and it protects the, the tree from insects. They have instructions for this also, guys. So what I want you to do is this. Come on, Josh. Open that up. And I'm just showing you how this works. Guys, if anybody else wants to send me a super chat, don't don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because I, I, I would love to say that word again. All right. Guys. That open. Now, they have a thing that you can measure it with. Guys, I'm not going to go into detail with this. But this is the dry formula right here. This, you will feed a different way. Pour it in there. Let's fill it all the way up. That's good. Take this, and I'll do this right here. You take this, you don't have to put it in here. What they want you to do is literally sprinkle this around the edges. Hopefully you can see that. Around the edges. Now some somebody might say, do I do you overfeeding it? But I'm I just I gotta do this for the video. I got, oh I just killed my plant. And you go around the edges. <laughs> you go around the edges with that super chat. Chips and guac. Super chat. Oh, I'm gonna take them ten dollars and go to Burger King. I just get them, <laughs> take that and uh, and uh, invest it back into the to the video. Uh oh, super chat Higgins family, super chat. All right. So what I just showed you guys is how to two things. We did the Sunny Land super chat. We did the Sunny Land. 10, 10, 10, we did that. We fed the entire area. This one right here, it's more or less focused. It feeds the shrub and it protects it. Says up to 12 months, guys. Insect protection, so we, I don't know about that. But that's what it says it does. All right, next, Christopher, bring that uh insect control over here. Now, I got another insect control, guys. I want to show you this real quick. That bag right down the back of the truck. I'm going to use this the same way. This thing comes in handy. If, guys, all of this stuff is going to be listed on the on the um, replay later on. I got to go back and put it in and insert all this stuff. It's going to be put in on the um, replay where you can buy it at my Amazon store. All right. If you want to check out my Amazon store ahead of time, it's www.amazon.com slash Bermudagrass Central slash shop. All right, so check that out. All right, pour this in here. Somebody pour this in here. Chris, you do. Now, don't spill it because it is kind of messed up. But I want you to pour it in that right there. And guys, I'll show you the name of it just in case, you know, you want to do it. Guys, don't be afraid. Super chat. Love saying that. I might super chat myself just so I can see it. This bag is kind of ripped, so it's gonna be a little hard for him to get it in there. This is live, guys. That's somebody with one of the motorcycles with those extra big speak speakers. You point it all on it. What's called? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now 
he don't want me to go crank my hemi. That's enough. That's enough. He don't want me to go crank my hemi up. All right, you can sit that down. All right. Same way, I'm going to let BYD Jr. do this. Grab that right there. Walk over here. Uh-uh, other hand. Other hand. Put that in your other hand. There you go. Make sure your wrist is up under there. And you're going to turn it right there. Now, what we're doing now is putting down an insect granular insect control. Same, same thing, guys. You can do all this at the same time. Don't wait. No one application. Get it all done ASAP. All right, go ahead. Just turn it and spring all over. Go ahead. Don't be scared. Turn. Start turning. There you go. And then get closer to it. Get close to it. Now, this is a little dusty. Stop right there. Get closer to it. Lift it up and make sure you get it in the center. You guys see that? You guys see that? All right. Now go on the back side of it and do it too. Come back here. And guys, what we're doing is putting down insect control. Like I told you, it's going to be a lengthy video, guys. I'm going to have to do a lot of work on this. But this is live. Live stream right here, guys. Live stream. This is insect control. I think this is made by seven. Is it seven over and out? That was on the back. Yeah. yeah, seven over and out. But you can use whatever insect control you want. You know, it's it's not. You know, I'm not doing this. And I, I just saw a crane fly fly up out of there. I think put this stuff. This stuff supposed to kill on contact also. And somebody was asking me how they boom is so strong. Last year I fed this right at the. I think it's middle fall and the fall. And look, it's blooming like crazy it's let me show the name for everybody that's asking guys i'm not saying this is you know the what they call it the holy holy grail of it you, you can use anyone you want all right and they got the ones with the bifin in it or biffin however you want to say it that's supposed to last six months then they got the one without it that's supposed to last three months. You got a liquid formula for it right here. It's a two-way formula. Um, kills insects within 24 hours. Kills soil insects. This one's supposed to kill mosquitoes also. At least that's what it says on the, what's called? I don't know about that. But, yeah, that's that's how that's supposed to work. Somebody get me a spreader, and we're going to put down some insect control on this side over there. All right, guys, we're going to move back to the other side over here. Guys, don't forget, you can hit that super chat. Super chat. Pull that cord over here, Chris. And guys, you see, I'm, boot I'm bootlegging it. Uh-uh, get that. Let's go. Give me the black box. Plug this up. Come on. I'm trying to read your stuff at the same time, guys. Come on, plug it in. Come on, guys. Live stream, guys. It's live. It's bootleg. BYD trying to give you a four-hour tutorial. <laughs> if you want to go use the bathroom, you come back. I'll still be here. All right. Come on, guys. <clears throat> That uh, ladder over here, too. Where is my drink? All right, guys. Now, what I'm about to do and bring that bring that ladder over here, Jarvis. Go get that um, bug be gone. Get that green bag. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real. It's real live stream right here. You know, some guys, I know people get, they just get like, oh, I'm not going to watch all that. You don't have to, guys. Like I said, when the replay comes, when the replay comes, I'm going to um, time stamp it. You can go back and watch all that. But I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I'm doing on my own lawn right now. I gave BYD Jr. this knife. Last year, I'm surprised he still kept up with it. That's not an off. This is an off. <laughs> Y'all know that's funny, man. Stop acting like that. 
right, come on over here with that ladder. You know what? I'm just gonna unplug it. I don't. I don't. I think I got enough power. I got the Wi-Fi standing over here, so hopefully it won't fall down. Oh, oh, oh! Don't fall! Oh, oh, oh don't fall! I'm gonna get right here. <clears throat> All right. So what up? What I'm gonna have Jarvis to do is to cut that bag open. This is an off. Now, is that is that the one that the zip closed back up? Hold up before you cut it open. Hold on, guys. It's not. That's not one snap back. All right, he's gonna cut that bag open. Cut it so they can see you cutting it. Come, come a little closer. Bring it down. Hold on, guys. I'm just. I just want you guys to have fun. Don't be afraid to hit that super chat. I see here people got scared. They stopped. They stopped. It's like BYD, we ain't paying you for that bootleg. We know you've been doing this for years trying to help us out. We ain't going we ain't sending you no money. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just having fun too, guys. All right, if you're not gonna hit me with the super chat, guys, make sure you buy a t-shirt. Support the channel, man. I can't keep doing this stuff for you, man. All right, go ahead, cut it open. That's good. And just pour it in there. The back of this stuff, they have settings. One thing I've always stressed is for you to get one of those. Um, where's the other? Um, there it is. To get one of those Scots, because the Scots seem to be the one that's everywhere. And I'll show you real quick. Uh, you see that Scots right there? Hold that up for him, Jarvis. That's the Scots right there. That's the one that everybody. The reason I say I know it's not the best built. You know, you don't have to comment. Oh, that cheap piece of crap. But every product that you buy in the store is gonna have a Scots spreader on it. Now, when you start going, let's go two, three, four hundred dollar spreaders. It's a different thing. No, I'm not putting down 2006 at all. That's a weed to feed. I don't have any any weeds now. The 2406 is the flagship um, by Yard Mastery, and that's not a weed to feed. But right now, I'm not putting any type of fertilizer down. Now, you may have to cut it open a little bit bigger. I'm not putting any type of fertilizer down right at this time. That's fine. Just pour it all on there. Yeah. <laughs> And the reason I'm not putting it down because it's, it's just not the time, guys. It's just not the time. If you have a yard that's full of weed and feed, excuse me, full of weeds right now, and it's green, then yeah, go ahead and put you down your weed and feed. But I don't have, my yard is 95% weed free, so I'm good to go. So I'm still going to hold off now. There's a possibility I may put down that 12, 12, 12 fertilizer. That one is specifically formulated for lawns. And I'll show you that in a minute, one. When I get to it, all right? Guys, don't forget, Super Chat is still available. I want to say the word, but I can't say it for free. Somebody hit me with the Super Chat. All right, bring that on out here. I might lift it up because I got a trash over here. Got a lot of stuff going on. All right, start right here. And you got some, what'd you say? You got the bags out, so... Oh, I was just one. Oh, okay. Now I was just showing you everything that I, I, I at the beginning of the video I kind of explained why I had them out. I just want to show you what I'll be putting on my yard this year, and just so everybody know, Yard Mastery is sponsoring BYD's yard this year. So I got all the flavors. I got the flagship. I got the uh, double dark. I got the stress blend, and I got the starter. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on there, hey guys. The settings is gonna vary. Right now, I'm just going to put it on 8, 19, one of them. Guys, make sure how often do you put 12, 12, 12 down. 12, 12, 12 is the start of fertilizer. If you're starting a lawn, that's what you need to put down. People have been told to put a 10, 10, 10 down to get that lawn started. If you read the bag, 10, 10, 10 fertilizers, most of them are not for lawns. They're made specifically for... Uh, what is it? Uh, trees and shrubs. All right. The 12, 12, 12 blend is made for warm season lawns. And I'll show, matter of fact, let me show you that real quick so we can get that discussion out of the way. 
All right, 12, 12, 12 right here, guys. You see it. Let me see if I can find where it says what it's for. All right, if you look right there, this is why I was talking about fertilizers formulated for lawns. Bermuda is down there. St. Augustine, Zoysia, Centipede, Bahia, Bahia, however you want to pronounce it. Says you can apply anytime, four times a season, spring, summer, fall, winter. Super Chat, Gary Johnson. Super Chat, keep it up. Super Chat. <laughs> All right, so we got that out of the way. And Jarvis, do you have any idea on how to use a spreader? Yes. All right, so I'm going to, uh-oh, I can't see. C Z R S. This guy's been ride or die from day one. Super chat. Okay. So what we're gonna do is now what I'm putting down now is the bug be going right here. And guys, all I want you to do is go ahead and push it up. Crystal, come get this rake out of the way right here. Push it up there. You know how you go over. When you get to the edge of the lawn, make sure you, you shed it off so you won't put debris all over that. Not debris. Uh, bug stuff out. Don't open it up yet until you get ready to start pushing it. And then when you turn around and get ready to come back, open it up and release it. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is how we open and close it right there. All right. This is a broadcast spreader. She's been using. You can see plenty of prodiamine down there, too. This is a cover. Just in case we flip it over, it won't fall out and burn the grass if it was fertilized. Super check. Tony Hakeem. Super shot. <laughs> we have a fun on this live stream, guys. Guys, I appreciate that super chat, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it fun, man. But go ahead, push it up there. And oh, you got it open? All right, stop right there. All right, sometimes it'll clog up. Keep in mind, guys, this is live, so. I'm just changing it. Ugh. All right, go ahead, push it up there. There you go. Walk. You got to walk fast with it. You can't play with it. All right, and what we're doing is putting down some granular um, insect control. BYD, you think you should do more lives there? <laughs> Me too, man, but <coughs> Willie Gamble just hit y'all with the 399 Super Chat now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, let's see, let me see 399 Super Chat. What's up, Ron? Hey, I told guys, Ron. Ron Henry is in the house, guys. Ron Henry himself is in the house. Go back up that way. And this is a live chat right here. <clears throat> I told him, Ron, the collabo is coming. Now, I'm just going to address the, the elephant in the room. People say, hey, aren't you black guys doing collabos together? Well, it's about to happen. All right? It's about to happen. The Ron Henry BYD collabo is going to happen. The chips and guac collabo will happen soon. The son of a muter, I got to drive all the way to Alabama. <laughs> That's going to happen also. Yeah, we're going to get together. I promise you that. I promise you that. I right, go back up. Now, keep going. Do the whole, whole what's called. Don't just stop right there. And what we're doing is putting now. make sure you, you come over this way and open it up. Is it coming out? Yeah. And guys, once we put down this insect control, now, if you look, you can see those 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 crane flies jumping up out of the grass. I don't know if you can see that. But when he went by and put that stuff down, they came up. All right, it's coming back. All right, and like I said, we're using a broadcast spreader. You can also use a drop spreader if that product recommends it. All right, let's go back the other way. Guys, you see, I'm getting a little green up. Just a little bit. Oh, Ron, I'm out here full throttle. I'm getting all done all done today. I got 25% of the garage out here. Hey, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I got to stop talking. You know why I got to stop talking? William Foster just did the 499 Super Chat. Hold on, I'm going to put it back this way. Super. Hold on, guys. Super chat. All right. Is it clogging up? All right. It's clumping up a little bit, so he's just kind of breaking up the clump, guys. There you go. Going to shake it loose right there. 
All right, you ain't got to stop, man. Keep going. All right, now here's the next thing that I'm going to do, guys. We've cut the yard. We put down some insect control. All right. I'm going to go ahead and crack open this 12, 12, 12 real quick. And I just want you guys to see it. Like I said, Yard Mastery has is sponsoring the lawn. It's not, this video is not sponsored. But I'm just telling you what's going on. All right, I got this out here. Hold on. $4.99 Super Chat help. That help right now. All right, guys. Now, this is the 12, 12, 12 fertilizer. I want to just show this again. No, don't wait. Don't wait to the collaboration. Send the $50 now. <laughs> Send me 25 and hit Ron Henry 25 on uh, his Friday live stream. Don't, don't wait. Don't wait. But this is for Bermuda, St. Augustine, Zoysia, Centipede, Bahia, right there. All right. So this 12, 12, 12, I'm about to go ahead and put this down real quick. Like I said, guys, it's a live stream. So it's going to be lengthy. This is the, the BYD cut. It's going to be a four-hour live stream. Now, I, I was just playing when I said four hours, but. I'm just having fun, guys. Have fun. Hey, bring that spreader down here real quick. Christopher, where's your knife? Oh, hey. Jarvis got it. What do I do with my glasses? You see my glasses? Not those. Those are my regular glasses. See if I put the mother ones over there. You got that knife? Hold on. I don't see it. There you go. Wow. Okay. Here we go, guys. I know you guys like, where did he go? All right, guys, let me get that out of the way. Look, I've been about to put this 12, 12, 12 down. Do you have to put this fertilizer down now? Guys, I'm, for those of you who are just now joining in, Super Chat is still available. But I'm going to put this down if you got a... 40 to 60 percent green up. All right, I got some green up going on. I got a lot of green up going on. I'm going to start my fertilizer off this year with that. I mean, I have a lawn calendar. If you type this in Bermuda on YouTube search, lawn calendar 2021 Bermuda Grass Central, that video should come up. All right, that video should come up. All right, go ahead, bring that over here. Bring that spread over here. And just when he's playing with it, but bring that spread over here. You ain't got to put that back on there. And just put it right here. And I'm going to put the spreader in focus so you guys can see this real quick. And I want to show you this real quick also. Hold on. All right, here we go. Now, <clears throat> you guys see this. I have a Let's Go spreader. The setting is, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pause, pause. You know, stop the press. Ronald Owens. Soup. Super chat. Super chat. Ryan Henry asks, what rate am I using? I'm using the rate that they recommend on this bag. And, I, and I'm see what it says. This is here. You look, application, three pounds of this product per 1,000 square feet. I'm using a Let's Go spreader. I set it on 14. So when I put out this product over 1,000 square feet, it's going to be three pounds per 1,000 square feet. This is not a 50-pound bag. This is a 45-pound bag. All right, so three will go into 40 pound, uh, 45, how many times? Come on, guys, do the math with me. Uh, three will go in there one time. That's one, um, three, 15, five, 15. Um, that's, so, yeah, that's 15 right there. What is the 15 for? I guess... You know, I hate when you do them live streams right there, but it's three pounds. Oh, that's 15,000 square feet, guys. That's what it is. All right. So the 45 pound bag, what, what I'm talking about it says it right there, it covers 15,000 square feet at three pounds. Can you go different? You can, you know, but I would stick to what the recommendation is on the bag so you can get the best results. 
right. If you got cool season, check it out. Cool season lawns, bluegrass, fescue, ryegrass. That's what's on the bag. You see that? Cool season. Bluegrass, fescue, ryegrass. Warm season. Bermuda grass, St. Augustine, Zoysia, Centipede, Bahia. All right. But in the bag, I want you to see that real quick. And th that's this that's the secret right there. Look, boron, copper, iron. I love saying manganese. Don't ask me why. Molly B, B denim and zinc. Those those extra micros and max that some of the other fertilizers just don't provide. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this open real quick. Stay with me, guys. Don't get bored. Stay with me. It's rough when you're doing live stream. Now, if I'm away from this and you hit me with a super chat, I'm sorry. Hey, Jarvis, bring that wire, Christopher, bring that wire over here and plug this phone up real quick. All right, guys, I'm finna pour this into there. This is the starter for. And I'm gonna do a deep dive on into this uh, uh, yard mastery. Sunny Lane, Colabo, Burp. Jar 